Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Fox Nine, and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Season 7, Episode 6 of The Flash, called The One with the 90s. Oh, I see what they did there. They did a Friends uh, reference. Gotcha. So, we start off with um, the Speed Force. Nora is helping Barry, and um, basically recounts about what happened. She was like, at first, in like, I guess like a light, peaceful atmosphere then all of a sudden it changed with other people so team flash will help her then we got to her um chester chester is shook he is like fangirling over the steve force because steve force knows his name and everything and he also set up an isotopic signal so whenever um one of the uh people come through that or the enemies of the speed force come through they'll know who it is or in close proximity anyway so uh they need to make amplifiers and do that around town and then we cut to where caitlin um comes home to a uh, ugly mess made by killer frost with her decor which is honestly very not my vibe either and Caitlyn is very upset by it but she doesn't say anything she's just kind of like okay just okay so um we cut to where um Chester and um Cisco make up amplifiers and they test it and it's a huge fail then they got brat they got blasted with green light and they got cut in a barrier and um the sensor does um work and basically they can't find phones or the van and they're stuck in the barrier like i said then iris talks to nora and i have a feeling that's not really her because i feel like the um original c force knew everything about barry either way and um this one's kind of like mm, what are you talking about because she mentions a um berry blanket burrito or like a triple b and then um so she, ours uh shows her something and then we have cisco and chester are in the 90s they love that they're in the 90s they absolutely love it because of blockbuster and all the nostalgia feels but they need to get home and they're dealing with a temporal energy which can do tra time travel and then uh, they need to figure out who it is, so they go shopping, and um, that shopping turns into dumpster diving, and Chester fixed it. Um, then they go to the high school, and they go undercover. It was a big, oh my god, how stupid. <laughs> also, how very 90s, and actually 2000s, where, you know, full-grown adults try out that they're 17. No. So they interview people, and they're getting nowhere, and it's just like a total oh my god moment. Like, what is happening with these people? <laughs> and um, also they go undercover, and um, yeah, we found out, at first we thought it was a towel boy, because they talked about the Matrix, but that actually came out in the 2000s. So um, he was like, oh god, it's going to start over again. And then they got blasted, and then uh, next thing we know... It's a time loop, and Cisco had, now has the mind of um, a seven-year-old and does not know Chester, but Chester helps him remember. And um, they're in a time loop, and the amplifier is broken again. Then we cut to where Iris tells Sonora about um, the blanket, and then, um, you know, how it's difficult for Barry to deal with those type of memories because he could just think about that night, and so uh, Nora left. <laughs> Then um, we cut to back where the converters are gone because uh, they went to go buy something, but um, they literally got sold to the last person. We find out that's Chester's dad, and he's going to be gone tomorrow, and he doesn't really like him. He looks like absentee dad, always on the road, trying to sell his inventions and stuff like that. And Cisco thinks he should talk to him, and um, he's like, no, I'm not. Nope, 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 nope. Then we cut to where Cisco is going to go get the converter. Then we cut to where Iris uh, found Nora at Jitters. And she's like, well, if it hurts Barry so much, I'll just change my appearance. I don't want to inflict any pain on anybody. And Iris says, don't do it. It actually does the opposite effect. It helps Barry uh, and deals with his stuff. And um, it brings like, all the positive aspects of his mom. So just 
keep it like it is. Then we got to where Chester talks to his dad and he won't sell the converter because he's throwing away because um, he's throwing away for Chester to have in the trash where trash equals treasure and not just trash trash. And because that's how he fixed the um, device earlier on in the episode. And we actually found out that he was on, he did everything for Chester and is actually a great ish dad. So, um, yeah. <laughs> then we cut to where um, Chester just kind of hugs him and he's like, okay, that's getting weird. Like, can you not? And um, we cut to where the dad has an idea and they built a new amplifier. And now we found out that um, the jock is the temporal guy. And he's very, very angry. And he sends out more blasts, which um, Cliff Ross is now in the 70s vibe. And we found out that the jock basically got an injury. And he got trying to replay the night over and over again to make it different. But um, Cisco says, like, it must be a fixed point then if you spent, you know, if you've done it like over 100 times. So, yeah. Then we cut to where um, Cisco zaps him. And that was a huge didn't do anything. Then Joe's in the 50s, Caitlin's in the 80s, and Iris is in the 70s. And there's a T-Rex downtown trying to um, take out people. Then we get to uh, Joseph tries to reason with him, and it's like, why well, don't let that one thing make all your um, future points, like, you can change it over, like, what's one bad point compared to, like, infinite good points that could happen? And um, he stops, everything goes away, and then we have a total um, 180 to, like, I'm very upset to, like, oh, I can use this to my advantage. And I was like, oh, God. <laughs> and he literally snaps his fingers and disappears. And then we get to where Barry is fine now, and then Iris invites Nora to stay at their apartment. And then we cut to where Chester is working on um, one of his dad's projects. Then Joe talks to Killer Frost about um, Kristen, the new person that's from out of town that's after Killer Frost. And Killer Frost is like, bring it. And that was the end of the episode. Um, really good episode. I gave it an A because I thought it was really good. And then also we just kind of switched gears to something kind of weird-ish towards the end. And I didn't really feel like that fit with the show honestly it felt weird but other than that like and also I felt like they were trying to play the nostalgia feel too much I mean it was a like I said it was a good episode but like we know about Space Jam they're actually doing a remake we know about Blockbuster most people do and stuff like that so they just hit like certain points but they didn't like you know I don't know what I'm saying <laughs> but my point is I feel like it could have been um shift could have been a little bit different and I don't feel like the speed force Nora is really the speed force Nora I don't feel like that's actually her that's just my take <laughs> because there's just certain moments when I'm just like okay and also um Irish is inviting her to stay at their apartment and Bear's like I, I guess okay <laughs> so I feel like something kind of weird with that aspect as well I just that overall it was a good episode but Definitely could have been improved upon. And also, why was there, was the why was there a sub in the street? That made no sense at all. <laughs> and uh, like a T Rex, we get like a warrior, we get from you know from wherever. Yeah, I get that. But a sub on the highway that does not make a bit of sense, honestly. <laughs> anyway, um, that was just like I'm nitpicking the crap out of this. But anyway, that's it for this video. If you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think of the episode. Do you agree, disagree? Tell me your thoughts down below. And sorry if I'm like stuttering a little bit. I am very exhausted. I don't know why either. Anyway, subscribe bye. Uh, and I'm doing Super Cool literally right after this. So if you want to watch that, um, it'll be up soon. Because I gotta watch it now. Okay, bye.